Hey guys, SportsFed1100 here from TaylorWProductions.Weebly.com. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add muzzle flashes in your video to make a really cool effect. Muzzle flashes are basically, basically gunshots, so here's what we're going to be doing today. There we go. Okay, it's a really easy effect, and I'll be showing you how to do it. Um, Alright, first of all, you just need your clip. Actually, we'll just delete these tracks and start all over. Okay. Um, you need a video of you just walking in and pretending to shoot a gun. I'm only going to do one shot because it, as, I mean, once you do it once, you can do it as many times as you want. So like right here, and you can delete the rest, and I'll shorten it up too, because it's just me walking in, alright, you need your muzzle flash, so go to detonationfilms.com, uh, the link will be in the description, just click on the, the picture to enter, and go into stock footage, and find, um, muzzle flashes and gun effects and how you have to see a video there but you can't download it so you have to go to page k4 this is where i get it you can go to the other pages but you know okay and find um... the best all-purpose muzzle flashes ever All right, and as you see it's the video in full screen or bigger screen and just find download zip file and save it to wherever you want and open it up it's the dot mov file All right and I'll also delete the audio because we don't need that and insert a video track and put that on, on in as well okay and find the one that you want you can choose any one alright now you would just if you had three or four you just copy this many times as you want so control Z control V and you just do that alright but we want to just find we just want one because we're doing one shot and find right where he shoots it like right there right here and I suggest splitting the clip it'll you can know where you are better put that right there find the transfer mode or compositing mode set that to add now that will get rid of the blackness or you can instead of doing transfer mode or compositing mode you can go to um, video effects and find actually yeah I'll just go right here video effects and find chroma or uh, chroma cure Right, and select the pipette tool and use that and that will go away but and, and use the blur amount and stuff to get rid of all that stuff low threshold high threshold just like that I'm not going to do it I'm just going to use transfer mode to add because it's better and you want to find the track motion and all you want to do because first of all it's rever it's upside down so what you want to do is just reverse this, just like this. Now it'll be reversed, or it won't. It won't be reversed. It'll just be the other way around. Okay, and make it a little smaller because this is way too big. And put this like right here. You make me a little smaller. See how that looks. Alright, it kind of gets cut off. Cause look, it kind of like goes into nowhere. Alright, that looks okay. I'm just showing you the basics. You can add more later. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, um, insert an audio track right here, and drag this right in between these. Oh, sorry, you drag. There you go. So you have your muzzle flash, a blank audio clip or audio track, and then your video. And you want to insert your um, audio. 
I got this off shockwave.com. I'll put the link in the description because I know exactly where I got it. And find, like, I have two shots. So I'm just going to find, like, like, right where it ends. Go right here. Great, I can't do that. Let's put that. And you can delete the rest. And just copy this as many times as you have it. Right. So here's what we got. Looks okay. Might actually move this up a little bit. I use that in event pan and crop. Just you can use either. All right, looks okay. Okay, insert another video track above the muzzle flash and go to media generators. Find solid color, and then select yellow, and bring that onto the timeline. And you want to set the B to about the middle. It's about the middle, right? And set the level to about fifty. And make that so it fits, right? And find the event pan and crop. Tick mask, and make a nice oval shape, just around you, pretty much. So you got this. Um, and find the feather type, make it both, and set it to about. Thirty-seven. Now this ha this is optional and cannot be done in um, trial. So I suggest if you have pro, then use this effect because it'll look a little better. All right. Set the level now to about eight. Okay. And you can go back and feather it a little less because there you go. And fade this in and fade it out as well. Also, find here, let me just check this a little bit. Find right where this ends. So, I suggest like find it going like right here. So, that looks okay. So, find like right where the clip I suggest finding right where you end the clip. I just judged it off the audio because you can do that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's watch the full thing. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So that's it. You can render uh, tools, render a new track, or oh, let's render a new one. And there you go. You render it, and you're well ready to go. Um. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helped, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.